All right, so I'm mixing up some uh, epoxy, and I did I did four ounces of hardener and two ounces of resin. I threw in a little bit of chopped mat. Uh, I bought this uh, chopped glass just to add a little bit of extra to it. I'm gonna mix it up for a little bit here. You want to mix it pretty good because you want to get that hardener all mixed in real good. I didn't add in any of this thickener uh, just because I want it to absorb into the mat as best as I can get it to. Some people say they mix their epoxy for five minutes. That seems like a long time for me. Uh, I don't know, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, I think would be good. I don't think you're gonna get it much more mixed than that, but however long you wanna mix your epoxy for. The guy told me I had 25, I think 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes to use it. So that's a good amount of time. So that's that's my mix right there I got to get a roller I used one of these rollers yesterday and I really really liked it the guy recommended it at the store worked really well I'm get the bag off of my roller handle what I've done is uh, I pre-cut my my glass. There's my chop mat. Uh, I cut it 12 inches wide and I'm going to add a piece 1708 right down the middle. I'm going to set it right in the middle and that's going to go, it's going to first go the 1708 onto the boat and what you want to do is you want to put your chopped glass side on your 1708 you're gonna have a shiny side which is stitched and then you're gonna see your chop mat that's been stitched to the back of it you want that to go to the bottom of the boat and then so it's gonna sit on top like that because then you're putting the chop glass on the back of the mat you want chop glass down first I made a little pick a little piece for the front hopefully I can get it to wrap around my bow and uh, not have to fight with it but I'm gonna really soak that one up so it's more flexible because the more flexible you get it the easier it is uh, another thing is I've noticed is after you've stuck it on and you wait maybe five minutes uh, it seems to absorb a little more and it allows you to flex it around so I need to put some gloves on that's one thing buy a box of gloves because man they kind of help you out they're not always, it's not always perfect. You're going to definitely get uh, epoxy on you. And uh, at least this prevents this more, you know, prevents a little more of it from getting on you because it's a pain in the ass to get it off. Plus when you're working, it's a little easier. It's not easy putting these gloves on with the phone in my hand. I'm just going to set it down for a sec. So, what I do is on the hand that I work with, I put two gloves. And uh, I work in a cabinet shop and I do a lot of work with chemicals. And I've learned that one from working there is uh, you put that second glove on. I don't know if you can see, but throw two gloves on the hand that you're working with. Because when one glove gets all nasty, you can peel it off and you got a clean one already on. It works good. And it actually seems to prevent them from tearing as you're working when you got two on. Stir it up a little more. It's starting to already get a little thicker. I can already feel that the glass that I put in there is uh, absorbing some of it. 
glad I didn't add any of the thickener because I don't need it. You can see it's actually a little bit thicker than I thought it would be. All right, now to rolling. I kind of scoop it out with this, get a couple blobs, some spots, some different spots. Just so you're not rolling as much as you have to because on this chop mat when you roll it wants to peel up the fibers. You really want to wet it out good. You don't want to use too much but you want to get it nice and wet. I cleaned the bottom of the boat with acetone before I started. I heard you want to do that about 15 minutes prior to laminating. I guess you want to let that uh, acetone dry off. I'm just going to start with this piece first. At first it doesn't look like it's spreading around, but once you start working it in, start working it around, your roller starts to get some resin on it, it will start to spread it out too. I should have grabbed a little roller tray and poured it in there, it probably would have helped me a little bit better, but... I might have to mix a little more because this is a uh, this is soaking it up. See those dark spots? That's kind of what you want the whole thing. Spread it out nice. I see. I hear them say in a lot of videos I watch, don't overdo the resin. So what I'm trying to do it is you can see right there how it's wanting to pull the mat up with it. So you're trying to trying to get it without it pulling too much of the fiber off. I'm definitely gonna have to mix some more. Well, I'll get back to it. I'll film the piece when I'm done and I'll add it into the video so you can see how I wet it out. You can see it's starting to wet out there. You can see all the dry edges too where I don't have enough. So I'm going to mix up the same amount again. Thanks for watching.